Fidelity Investments app tutorial and review coming up next. Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be breaking down the Fidelity Investments app. This app is completely free, available on all your mobile devices and smartphones. Now you're going to need to sign up for a Fidelity account before you can use the app. You can do this via app or website browser. Now Fidelity offers zero commissions on trades, zero dollar minimum to open account, and no account fees. So essentially downloading the app and opening an account is completely free. So the Fidelity app offers a flexible and convenient way to stock trade, manage your money, check the market, especially if you're on the go. So this video is going to go over the Fidelity app, all its features, and give a little review and tutorial. All right, let's go check out the Fidelity app. Upon opening the Fidelity app, the top right is where you're going to find your profile and account information. This includes all sorts of personal information, bank account information, etc. Then, the bottom, there are five menu options. You have the home page, which is an overall breakdown of your account. You have the invest tab, which has your positions, watch lists, and market indexes. Next, you have the transactions tab. This is where you're going to make trades and transfer funds. The planning tab, which has ways to set goals and create spending habits. And finally, the discover tab, which is your research tools for finding the correct stock. So the home button is a snapshot of all different stock market indexes and your account overview. It contains a chart that has an overview of all of your assets. As you scroll, you can check out your individual account information, activities, positions, and tax forms. Essentially, the home page has a blend of the next four menu options. So next is the investments tab. First, you have your positions. Here's where you're going to find all your stock positions. You can click each position to see individual details. This includes your gains, losses, and additional stock analysis. Charts, stats, news, analyst ratings, everything that you need to know about your stock and your funds. If you click See Details, it will show you all your positional breakdowns at once, just like the website version. Next, you have watch lists. Now, watch lists are essentially where you're going to watch potential stocks or analyze them. Very simply, you click on stocks and you hit the plus symbol. You can add them to watch lists. In addition, you can create your own custom watch lists. Next, the markets tab is general information on all the stock market indexes. This includes the Dow Jones, S&P, NASDAQ, all different news, sector performance, rates, etc. One of the main tabs you're going to use in the Fidelity Investments app is the Transactions app. This is where you're going to make trades or manage your funds. As you can see, you can transfer funds between bank accounts, you can deposit checks, even pay bills. In addition, you can check out your activity and history. When you click trade, you're going to search for the potential stock symbol. You're going to click it. You're going to hit the green buy button. So you have the option of buying full shares or fractional shares with Fidelity. If you're going to buy fractional shares, you must have a minimum of $1. Now selling is just as easy. You hit sell when you already owned the position. You fill in the correct information and hit submit. In the transaction tab, you can also set up recurring transfers. You can access a chat with virtual assistants, or you can do some research or purchase some certificate of deposits. The planning section allows you to set some goals, 
to track some spending habits and analyze your debt. Now, in order to do this, Fidelity asks you to link other outside accounts. The Discover feature is essentially your app stock screener. You can research collections by strategy. You can analyze the top market movers by activity, top gains, losses, etc. You can do stock sector research. You can also analyze customer orders of a particular stock. You can see if there's more sales or buys. It has information on the most undervalued or overvalued stocks. And at the bottom of the research tab, you actually have an EFT screener. So these screeners are helpful in trying to find the perfect EFT that fits your criteria needs. Now the phone app does not have the standard stock screener that Fidelity offers on its desktop website version. If you're interested in learning about the stock screener on the desktop website, I have a tutorial. I'll put that in the description below. So the learning tab has all different information on Fidelity products. So if you're not sure about these products, you can click on these and learn more about the ways that Fidelity offers them. Basically education and convenience for understanding information. Also, Fidelity offers lots of different strategies, tips, information on crypto, information on buying a house, getting married, all different webinars and podcasts. So lots of different information, lots of different cool tools to help educate yourself in terms of financial investing. So all in all, the Fidelity Investments app is a must have if you are stock trading and you have a Fidelity account. It has a lot of great features from being able to trade on the go to checking markets to managing your loans and your debts to stock research. It's got it all. It's a great app. Definitely one of the better apps on the market and Fidelity is definitely one of the better brokerages on the market as well. If you're looking for the stock screener via website, I'm going to put that video in the description below. If you're looking for the Fidelity Investments uh, website overview, I will put that in the description below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys next time.